Today's mini lesson is on Punnett squares. Punnett squares are basically a simple way to make predictions about what the genetics of future offspring might look like. To make a Punnett square, you simply start off by drawing a square and then breaking it up into four sections. We'll end up putting our, pheno, our genotype excuse me, of our dad at the top of the Punnett square in the genotype of our mom on the left side. So let's pretend that we're looking at tongue rolling. And we already know there are two alleles for tongue rolling, big R and little r. If you have a big R, you're a tongue roller. And two little r's would be a non-tongue roller. So let's pretend that our mom has a genotype of big R, little r. And let's pretend that our dad also has that genotype, big R, little r. A Punnett square basically gives us all of the different combinations that could be made between any sperm and egg that are produced by this particular set of parents. So we know that there's a 50-50 chance that a dad could donate a big R, a little r. So we're going to pull our big R down to two of our four squares. We're going to pull our little r down to two of our four squares. Then we're going to do the exact same thing with our mom, but we're going to pull across. So we're going to pull our big R across our two top squares, and then we're going to pull our little r across our next two squares. There is a 25% chance that an offspring could have the genotype that's in any one of these squares. So we have four squares, so that's going to give us a 100% chance of uh, all the different choices. So if we look at the top left square, there's a 25% chance that our offspring could have a big R, big R genotype, which would mean they were a tongue roller. If we look at the top right square, there's a 25% chance that our offspring could have a big R, little r genotype. If we look at the bottom left square, again, we have 25% big R, little r. And finally, that lower right square is little r, little r. So these are all of our genotype possibilities, our phenotype possibilities. We know are either tongue roller or non-tongue roller. So in this case, 75% or three of our four offspring three out of every four offspring, would have that tongue rolling phenotype, whereas only there's only a 25% chance that um, the offspring would have a little r, little r, so a phenotype of non-tongue rolling. So basically, Punnett squares just really help us predict what our future generations are going to look like given our parents' genotypes.